In the Gospel of Luke, we have the disciples asking Jesus to teach them how to pray. And this is a common request for disciples and their rabbis of that day. But they see Jesus praying and the amazing things that happen in his life. So Jesus, well, he begins to tell them. And here's what he says. He says, pray like this, our Father. Jesus emphasizes two things, that we're part of a spiritual family. It's our, not my Father. And that God is a Father. It's a relationship. He cares. He loves us like a good earthly father. He says, our Father who art in heaven, He's powerful, he's mighty, he's above all, he knows, he sees. He's in heaven, he's not limited like us. Hallowed be your name, Father, but hallowed. Set apart, none like him, holy and righteous. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He wants us to be involved, to carry out, to help establish his kingdom. So we're praying for that to be done in us and through us. But practically, Jesus hits on that. He says, daily looking to our Heavenly Father for our needs. Give us this day, our daily bread. He cares about our simple, physical, and practical needs. And he boils it down, just pray for your food, your bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Guide us and lead us as we're tempted and deliver us from evil. This is how Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. This is how he's teaching us to pray. And if there's one thing I can encourage you and encourage myself to do is go to the Father today and pray. Pray for his kingdom, pray for deliverance from temptation, pray for practical daily needs, and remember that God is a Father and that he's our Father. We're in this together as we're establishing his kingdom. So let's pray every day to our Father who's in heaven.